In this video I run through the installation of a set of secondary covers from GB Racing for my BMW S1000RR. The set comprises of covers for the alternator, clutch, pulse and water pump. I started on the right hand side which meant the clutch and the pulse covers. To make life easy for myself I removed the fairing lower on this side first. There are eight screws holding it on and they are not all the same length so I removed them one by one and stuck each screw onto a piece of paper so I could keep track of its location. First I fitted the clutch cover. This was quite simple requiring the removal of four screws. Included within the kit were the four replacement screws. With these to hand, the cover could be held in place and the screws fitted. First I just nipped them up before using a torque wrench. The spec requires 10 newton meters for each of the screws, so I first set the torque wrench at 6. Tighten them all up. And then reset it to 10 and tighten them all up again. The pulse cover required a bit more effort as first the new bracket had to be fitted. It's not particularly easy to see, but there is a bracket here holding the clutch cable. It was held in location by this screw here, which I removed. This didn't come out particularly easy. It almost felt like it was corroded, but the threads were pretty clean, so I'm not quite sure why. With the screw out of the way, I inserted the new bracket repositioned the old bracket and refitted the original screw and then as with all the other screws retorqued it to 10 newton meters. To fit the actual pulse cover I then had to remove two more screws from the clutch cover. Unfortunately one is just off the top of the screen here. I was unable to position the cover. and fit the three screws to hold it in place. It's important to note that the shorter of the three screws is the one that is fitted to the new bracket. I then torqued the two screws in the clutch cover to 10 newton meters the screw in the new bracket didn't really seem to want to click over so I did that a little bit more by hand with the covers done on the right hand side I refitted the fairing And here's a view of the right hand side of the bike with both those covers in situ. 
Next it was onto the left side to fit the covers for the alternator and the water pump. As I did for the right I started by first removing the fairing. And again keeping track of the location for each of the screws. For the water pump cover the instructions do say to remove the cap from the coolant filler but that's pretty awkward to get at so I didn't. I did though check that there was no pressure in the system by squeezing the pipe. All three of the screws had to be removed. As we can see here when I removed the original screws I was quite lucky as the cover did not come off and as a result I didn't have to deal with escaped coolant or have any need to re-top it up at the end. With the secondary cover in place it was a simple job of fitting the three new screws. And again, torquing them all up to 10 newton meters. Similar to the clutch cover for the alternator, I had to remove four screws before fitting the secondary cover and the four new screws. As with all the other screws, these were torqued down to 6 and then 10 newton meters. With all four secondary covers now in place, it was just a case of refitting the left hand fairing. All in this took me about an hour and a half, but without the video I'm sure I could have done it in about 30 to 45 minutes. To finish off the video, here's a view of the left hand side, although the water pump is actually hidden behind the fairing. <laughs> 